Hello everyone and thanks for watching Edupedia World Videos. In this video, I will show you the solutions to the physics questions of paper 2 of JEE Advanced 2015. I will solve the problems as they appear in code 1. The first problem tells us of a spherical mass capital M and two small masses small m each. The first mass capital M is at a distance r from the first small mass and they both have a distance l between them. And the only attraction between them, the only interaction is the gravitational attraction. So the mass capital M will be attracted towards the right by these two. This mass will be attracted towards the left by these two. And this will be attracted both towards the left and towards the right. These two masses are connected by a light rigid rod. And we are given that if R is equal to 3L, then the tension on the rod is 0. And we need to find out a relationship between the two masses. So the first and the easiest step is to draw the free body diagrams. Now I'm not going to draw the individual free body diagrams. I'm just going to draw it within this figure because the only forces are gravitational forces. This has two forces towards the right. This has one force towards the right, one force towards the left. This has two forces towards the left. These are the gravitational forces. Also, this might have one force towards the right or left, depending on the tension on the string. But it's given to us that the tension, uh, tension in the rod, sorry. And it's given to us that the tension in the rod is zero. Right. Now, since these two are connected by the rod, they both will always have the same acceleration. Right. So, for both of them, MA will have to be the same. That means the net force on these two must be the same. And tension is zero, so the gravitational force on these two must be equal. We know that the force on this is towards the left, so the force on this must also be towards the left, and both of them must have the same value of MA for them to have the same acceleration. So what is the force on this mass due to this mass? That is GMM by R square, but R is 3L, so 9L square. My, this is towards the left, minus this force towards the right, which will be GM square by L square. This is the net force on this particle towards the left, which will be equal to MA for this particle. The same MA will have to be true for this particle because they are connected by a rod. And for this particle, the forces, both of them acting towards the left are GMM by R plus L whole square. R is 3L plus L is 4L, so by 16L square plus gm squared by l squared. So now all that's left is to simplify this. We get this minus this. That means we get 7 gmm by 16 times 9, that is 160, 144 l squared is equal to 2 gm squared by l squared. And from this we get, if you can cancel other things out, m is equal to 7 by 288 capital M but we are given in the question that M is equal to K times M by 288 so our answer to this question is K is equal to 7 thank you